Um, these strobes are typically helmet mounted. All right, let me figure out exactly what I'm going to say and in what sequence. Hey guys, Augie from TNVC. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Core Survival Hellstar 6 IFF strobe. Now what the Hellstar 6 is, is it's what's referred to as a, an IFF device, which stands for Identification Friend Foe. Um, basically it's just a helmet mounted strobe. Uh, it's got both visible and IR functions. There are two basic models of the Hellstar 6. You've got this, which is the Hellstar 6 640, um, which has this movable no switch. So you see all the way forward, it's in its visible modes. And then if I push that no switch to the rear, uh, it's also got IR modes. Um, these strobes are designed to be able to be seen from the air at distances of over three nautical miles. Uh, so, so they're obviously very useful for, for uh, military and law enforcement personnel. If you're working in teams stretched over uh, you know, long distances of terrain or you have some sort of air support um, to be able to be identified on the ground to essentially prevent uh, any kind of fratricide incidents or, or to just be able to identify formations on the ground. Um, that being said, there are, you know, some enthusiast applications for them, you know, non-law enforcement or military applications uh, in, in that, you know, if you are hiking around in the woods or something like that, it's always good to have some sort of, of strobe, you know, whether it's the Hellstar, whether it's something like this, the Hellstar 6, uh, or, or some other kind of visible strobe because, you know, ultimately uh, when you're walking around with night vision, um, there is, you know, there is always the potential for injury. And the last thing that you want to do is to fall down the side of a, you know, fall down the side of a mountain, break your legs and be sitting there. Nobody knows where you are. Nobody can find you. Um, having something like uh, the Hellstar 6, allows you know rescuers searchers to be able to find you more easily and once again both from the air or from the ground um, you know we've got the fairly intense studio lighting right now so so you can't really tell as much uh, how intense the flashes of these are um, but you know at night in the dark this is going to be visible uh, a long distance away so again, these are the, this is the uh, Hellstar 6 640, which has this uh, our movable nose switch. That's my preferred version. There is also the 620 version, uh, which requires a tool to move the to move the nose switch from visible to IR. Uh, again, for me, I prefer the ability to change that on the fly. I just always know that if it's pointing forward, I'm, I'm on visible mode. If it's pointing to the rear, I'm on IR mode. Um, but for certain, you know, for certain covert military applications or something like that, you know, you may prefer to have the 620, uh, which requires that tool to switch over to prevent any kind of uh, visible um, accidental discharge where, where you're, you're shining your visible strobe uh, when you're trying to when you're trying to maintain co when you're trying to remain covert um, now there are there have been uh, several variations of the Hellstar 6 over the years uh, Hellstar 6 has been in production for for quite a while and it's been being used by the military for for probably for for well over a decade at this point in time um, so so there's a lot of different there, there's a lot of different versions of it first of all each type of Hellstar 6 has a whole series of different types of settings. So for example, you know, something like this, this is the uh, Hellstar 6 uh, 640-07, and it's got a green steady, a green steady with white flash. It's got an IR dim flash and an IR bright plus flash. 
So there's, you know, so, so there's, there's bright settings, there's bright plus settings, there's steady settings. Um, some versions you can have blue LEDs versus green LEDs or, or in addition to green LEDs, or you can have red LEDs and, and many of them are also programmable. So you can, so if you have the programming interface module, which is, uh, which is available, um, you can switch out within reason the settings between some of these different Hellstar 6s. Um, you know, I have a couple of different preferred versions depending on what the application is. Obviously, the uh, 64007 um, is one of the ones that I like, and that's because it's got the IR flash dim setting as well as the IR flash bright plus. So that dim setting, you, you know, again, you can't really see it. Uh, you, you know, you can't really see it with the studio lighting. But if you were looking at this at uh, under IR under NVGs. Um, like I said, that, that bright plus setting can be seen from the air uh, at five nautical miles. So you're talking about an extremely bright flash. So if you are trying, you know, if you are close to other people on the ground, it's probably going to be very distracting. It's going to be very annoying. And it's going to wash out um, everybody else's nods if you're with some sort of team, if you're with a team. So the IR dim setting. Uh, makes it a lot easier if you want to have some kind of ground-to-ground -ground identification versus um, identification from the air. Uh, another version that I like is the uh, 640-56P, which is the LE tactical model. And that one's actually got a green LED and a red LED in the visible mode. And then it's also got the IR dim and, and, the, IR, and the standard IR flash. So again, I really like having the dim setting, but there's you know any number of different models. There are rescue models, and then there's also this one here, which is the which is the Hellstar Six Lead Jumper, which has got a, a bright plus plus um, flash to it in both the IR and the visible mode. So oh, there, there, there's you know you can get uh, extremely bright with these. There have been a lot of, uh, you know, there have been a couple of variations of the Hellstar 6 over the years. And so another thing that I have here is I've got kind of a couple of variations uh, that have existed of the Hellstar 6 over the years. So this is probably, this is the oldest version of the Hellstar 6 that I have. This is actually technically known as the uh, Hellstar 6 Gen 2. So, um, a lot of people know it as the Gen One housing, but but you know if, if you talk to Core Survival, if they, they they say there is in fact an older version that that existed in prototype form, uh, that that was first uh, that was first used that that is different than the uh, th than the Hellstar Six Gen Two. I haven't been able to get too many more details on on the uh, Gen One, but the Gen Two uh, is is fairly common out there. The next version, probably still the most common version, is what's known as the Hellstar 6 Gen 3. So if you look at it, you can see that it's got a, a slightly different profile. Um, it's, it's got a lot more ridges to it. Uh, and, and it just kind of gives you a little bit of a cleaner, um, a cleaner flash from, from the uh, omnidirectional LEDs in there. Uh, you can tell that they are fairly different visually. Um, and again, the Hellstar, the, the Gen 3 Hellstar 6 is, is probably still going to be the most common one that you're going to find there out in the commercial market. Now, within the last year or two, uh, Hellstar, uh, Core Survival has also released uh, the Hellstar 6 Gen 3 Plus. So it's not the Gen 4. So the Gen 3 Plus kind of almost looks like a mix of the Gen 2 and the Gen 3. Um, it's a lot smoother, uh, but it still has a lot of the same patterning in it. And again, they've increased the surface area and they've kind of improved this lens cover to give you uh, a, a little bit cleaner, a little bit brighter, a little bit more efficient strobe effect off of the device. So obviously now the, the Hellstar 6 Gen 2 and Gen 3 are now out of production. Uh, but the Hellstar 6 Gen 3 Plus uh, is what we currently have uh, available and in stock at TNBC.com. Thanks for watching.